Now that we've introduced derivatives and properties for evaluating a wide variety of different derivatives, we want to start looking at some of the applications. So what sort of questions can we answer using derivatives? Before we dive into those applications, though, we want to take a look at how we can use Wolfram Alpha to calculate derivatives so that once we get into these applications, we know how to generate the results that we're after. In example one, we want to find the derivative of negative 2 times e to the 3x. There are a couple of different ways to do this. One, since Wolfram Alpha is fairly intuitive, we can just tell it we want to find the derivative of that given function, making sure we put that 3x in parentheses so that it understands that entire expression as part of the exponent. And that would give us negative 6 e to the 3x as that derivative. If we wanted to use a slightly more mathematical command or something that's actually a little bit shorter to type, we could also type d over dx. So that notation that just means take the derivative of this function with respect to x. And we generate that same result. So our derivative in this case would be negative 6 e to the 3x. Then what we want to do in part b is evaluate that derivative function for x equals 0. So what we can do is take a little bit of a shortcut. We can click on this output, which just saves us the, saves us the trouble of having to type in that derivative. And we can evaluate that statement or evaluate that function for x equals 0. which in this case would give us a result of negative 6. So we find that our derivative function is negative 6 e to the negative 3x, or I'm sorry, e to the 3x. And when we evaluate that derivative function at 0, we get negative 6. We can do the same thing for example 2. In this case, we have a function with a square root. So we can type d over dx, 10 times sqrt for square root, and then in parentheses, x plus 8, and evaluate that derivative, which would be 5 over root x plus 8. If we click on that output, then we want to, in this case, evaluate this function, this derivative function, at x equals 4. And we get our result in a few different forms. Uh, five time, or five over two times root three. Or if we wanted to rationalize that denominator, have a version where there's no radical in the denominator, that would be five over root. Th I'm sorry, five times root three over six. So here we found our derivative function to be five over the square root of x plus eight, and evaluated at x equals four we get 5 times the square root of 3 over 6. Looking at one more example, now we have a rational function that we want to differentiate. So again, we would type d over dx, 3 over x plus 2, putting that denominator in parentheses so that Wolfram Alpha recognizes that that entire expression should be in the denominator. And again, as a reminder, it's a good idea to check what Wolfram Alpha considers your input to be, just to make sure this statement matches what you think you should be evaluating. And then we generate our result, which we can then evaluate for x equals negative 2. And our result is this sort of strange infinity sign with that little symbol over it, and then a lot of other statements to basically tell us that this result doesn't exist. And we could think of this a little bit more intuitively. In the denominator, we have 2 plus x, which in this case is negative 2. So that would give us 0 squared, which means we're dividing by 0. So in this case, that result would not exist. So our derivative function is going to be negative 3 over x plus 2, that quantity squared. 
if we try to evaluate that function for x equals negative 2, we would get an undefined result because what we would end up doing would be dividing by 0.